Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be creating a custom page header for the blog using the custom layouts module from Nevebro. So here is our blog page and we are going to be inserting our page header right under the main header. So now I click on show hooks to show you exactly where it will be placed. And if we take a look at our main header, we can see that there is an after header hook, which is right here. So this is where our page header will be placed. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard to begin. Let's hover over appearance on the left hand side and click on custom layouts. Now we can go to the top to click on add new. And now you can give your custom layout a meaningful title. So I'm going to call mine blog header. Now we need to head down to the custom layout settings. Next to layout, I'm going to access this drop down menu to select hooks. Now we are going to access the hooks menu to select the after header hook. Let's leave the priority as 10 and we can also set an expiration date for this header, but I'm going to skip this for now. Let's move down to conditional logic and there we are going to access the first drop down menu to select archive type and here it is. Okay. Let's scroll down just a bit and we are going to keep the next option as is equal to let's select posts from the next drop down menu. So here's what this means. If the archive type is equal to posts, then this header will be displayed. And now we have three magic tags which have been generated based on this logic. We are going to come back to this later, but for now, let's go ahead and build our header. Okay, let's click on the plus icon to add a new block. And I'm going to select this section block by order, which I highly recommend. I will leave a link to order in the description. Let's skip this so that we have one column. And now we can go ahead and add our blocks to this column. So let's add a heading first. And now you can go ahead and add a suitable H tag. I'm going to use H4 since this will not be a main heading. So let's add some generic text like welcome to the blog. Okay, I think that's good. Now we can go ahead and center align this text. All right, now we can add our main heading. So let's click on this block and press enter. And now we can add a new block. So let's go ahead and click on this plus icon. And now let's add one more heading block. So since this will be our main heading, let's select an H1 tag. Let's also center align this text. And now instead of actually typing a heading, we need to insert one of our magic tags. So we are going to scroll down to copy this archive title tag. So I'm just going to highlight and copy this. I'm going to copy with command C and paste with command V on windows. Just replace command with control. Now we can go ahead and customize our sections. Let's go ahead and open up our list view. And now we can accurately select our section block. So on the right hand side, under block settings, make sure you're under layout, go to spacing and add 100 pixels of padding. Okay. So I feel like we have enough space around our heading blocks. Now let's continue customizing our section block. I'm going to go to the style tab and here we are going to configure the background settings under background type. We can either select a solid color image or a gradient. Let's use an image. Let's choose one from the media library. So we are going to scroll down to find one that's suitable. I recommend using an image that has a width of at least 1,200 pixels. This one is wide enough. So I'm going to click on select. Let's use the focal point picker to select a point on the image to focus on. All you need to do is click and drag to move the focal point picker. I think this is good. So I'm going to go to background settings. You can adjust the background attachment settings. I'm going to leave it as scroll. Let's go to background repeat. Let's make this no repeat for background size. We'll change it from auto to cover. Okay. Now we are going to move to background overlay for background type. We are going to use a solid color this time for our background color. We can use this color, which is one of our theme colors. And let's increase the overlay opacity to about 80. So that is dark enough. And I think this looks good. You can also go to CSS filters if you need to fine tune your color adjustments, but I'm going to leave these as default for now. You can also configure additional settings if you need to. But for this example, we are just going to leave these as default. Now let's go ahead and configure our headings. Click on the first heading. You can also select it from the list view. Let's move to the right to choose a text color. And I'm going to choose the first one, which is our primary accent color. Now let's move down to typography. I think we can keep the same text size. Um, the appearance can also be default, but let's make the letter case all caps. And if you need to configure your letter spacing settings, you can access this menu to turn on the option. You can also click on this icon to set a more specific font size. Now I'm just going to click on the second heading to customize it. And let's go to block settings on the right hand side to change the text color to white. 
Now, moving on to typography settings, I think we are going to keep these settings as default. But of course, if you need to, you can always make your own changes. Uh, we don't need to change the size or the appearance or letter casing. Let's just leave it as is. And let's preview our custom layout in a new tab. So our page header looks good. Let's go back to the WordPress editor. Okay, so now that we are done with our custom layout, and once everything looks okay, we can go ahead and click on the publish button twice. Okay, so now that our header has been published, we can go ahead and visit our blog page. Let's click on news. And here we have our custom page header. And you'll also notice that the magic tag has been replaced with the archive title. So I really hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.